So have you guys ever wondered that which is the shortest Assassin's Creed game and which is the longest in terms of player? Well, if you guys ever wondered about this question, then you have come to a right place because in this video, I have ranked all the mainline Assassin's Creed games from shortest to longest. But before starting off this video, I want you guys to like and subscribe this channel if you haven't. And now, let's start. At number 13, I have ranked Assassin's Creed Vogue. Now, Assassin's Creed Rogue, which was released in 2014 alongside Assassin's Creed Unity, becoming the seventh major installment in the series. Rogue takes place between the events of Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag and Assassin's Creed 3. Like Black Flag, it includes naval exploration and combat. The title was also the first Assassin's Creed game to let players be a Templar. When it comes to story length, AC Rogue is the shortest in the series at around 10.5 hours, which is also where a lot of games' criticisms were targeted. That being said, the naval adventure includes nearly 30 hours of extra content to keep players busy. Most completions can expect to finish the game in around 40 hours. At number 12, I ranked Assassin's Creed Revelations. Now, Revelations is the fourth major installment in the series. It was released in 2011 as the concluding game in Azio's trilogy, a trilogy of games involving one of the series' most popular protagonists, Azio Auditore. Revelations received favorable reviews from critics but couldn't compete with his predecessor Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Revelation's story takes place an average of 12.5 hours to complete, making it one of the shortest games in the series. However, completing and collecting everything in the game should take upwards of 34.5 hours, not including time spent in multiplayer, which can add dozens of extra hours. Number 11, I have ranked Assassin's Creed. So it was the first installment in the series, which was released in 2007 for PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 consoles. While it was initially well received, its combat, parkour and exploration mechanics are significantly dated at this point, making it a memorable but difficult to revisit entry in the series. The main story of Assassin's Creed only takes place around 15 hours, but completionist playthrough of the game will be more than double that. At number 10, I have ranked Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Brotherhood is currently the highest rated Assassin's Creed title on Metacritic. Considered by a large portion of the AC fanbase to be the best game in the series, its only competitor may have been Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Released in 2010, Brotherhood is the third major installment in the series, the second game in the Azure trilogy, and the first game in the franchise to include multiplayer. Like the original Assassin's Creed, Brotherhood's story takes most players around 15 hours to complete. Apart from the story, however, players have numerous opportunities to engage in optional content including recruiting assassins, gathering various collectibles, and renovating Rome. Completing everything the game has to offer has to take place an average around 43 hours, making it the longest of the Azure trilogy. Number 9, I have ranked Assassin's Creed Mirage. With the most recent mainline Assassin's Creed installments, opting to switch to open world action RPGs, the recent Mirage tapped back into the series' woods. The game launched in October 2023 for PS5 and Xbox Series XS and followed the Assassin Bussy, a supporting character introduced in Valhalla, as he fights alongside the Hidden Ones to restore freedom in Baghdad from the Order of the Ancients. Assassin's Creed Mirage was initially intended as a DLC expansion to 2020's Valhalla but developed into its own game. Though not groundbreaking, the game was generally well received for returning to the stealth action genre. Naturally, that means the game has a tighter runtime compared to Valhalla, Odyssey and Origins. This game has a recorded average of 15.5 hours to finish the main story, which is more in line with the most of the pre-Origins games. For completions, the game could take place upward of 29 hours to finish. Number 8, I have ranked Assassin's Creed 3, the fifth major installment in the series and while it's not a part of the Azure trilogy, it's the direct sequel to the 2011's Assassin's Creed Revelations. AC3 was released in 2012 for PlayStation and Xbox 360 consoles and takes place in the colonial America during the time of the American Revolution. The main narrative of Assassin's Creed 3 can take players a little over 16 hours to complete, while fully completing everything the game has to offer is closer to 55 hours. This makes AC3 longer than any game came before it, both in terms of story and optional content. At number 7, I have ranked Assassin's Creed Unity. Unity released alongside Assassin's Creed Rogue in 2014 as the 8th major installment in the series. It was developed to showcase the next generation of consoles but was unfortunately plagued by game-breaking technical issues. Despite its initial poor reception, however, 
It's since become one of the franchise's most underrated series, or you can say entries. Players who follow Unity's story and ignore most of its extra content takes around 17 hours to complete it, but the inclusion of the new skill tree system, organic street activities, world renovations, and more can add up to the total of 82 hours of the total playtime to completing. Despite being the longest Assassin's Creed game at the time, it received very less criticisms for its abundance of content. At number 6, I have ranked Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Syndicate. Syndicate is the ninth major installment in the series, releasing in 2014 for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One consoles. It initially received favorable reviews and the console versions were more polished than Unity. But the PC version, which released a month later, met much greater criticism. Syndicate's narrative and character are considered some of the Assassin's Creed's worst, and it takes around 19 hours to complete the main story. And when you are not playing the main story, you can participate in a wealth of extra content, all of which total ups to around 57 hours of gameplay when all said and done. At number 5, I have ranked Assassin's Creed 2. Assassin's Creed 2 is the first entry in Azure Trilogy and the second major installment in the series. Many consider 2 is one of the best in the franchise, but this is largely due to the amount of quality of life changes the game brought to the series after the first game, as well as the lovable character Azure Auditore. Assassin's Creed 2 story clocks in at around 19 hours, making the length of its narrative closer to Mirage than any other. The AC title. To fully complete the game, however, players can expect to spend around 36 hours, which is just a bit over the total length of the third game in the Azure trilogy. Yes, I am talking about Assassin's Creed Revelations. At number 4, I have ranked Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Black Flag was the first open world game in the Assassin's Creed franchise and serves as its sixth major installment. Black Flag is considered by many to be the best Assassin's Creed title in the franchise, even though it has a lower Metacritic score than the both Assassin's Creed. 2 and Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Black Flag story isn't the longest in the series, but it's longer than every early installment and a few that came after it. Playing nothing by the story itself takes around 23.5 hours to complete, whereas completing everything the game has to offer should take players an average of almost 63 hours, making it longer than Syndicate but much shorter than Unity. And number 3, I have ranked Assassin's Creed Origins. It was the first of the new wave of Assassin's Creed games, which you Ubisoft attempted to reinvent the franchise by drastically altering its formula. As the 10th major installment in the series, Origin became a very successful game for Ubisoft's new approach. This ultimately paid off and led to the development of Odyssey, one of the most popular titles as well. Origin's story is longer than any AC game that came before it, clocking it at around 30 hours. However, the world is filled with extra activities, including collectibles, side missions, a seizable skill tree, and a galadet real arena. So completing everything a regions has to offer has been shown to take just over 87 hours. At number 2, I have ranked Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Like Assassin's Creed 2 was to Assassin's Creed, Assassin's Creed Odyssey was Ubisoft's answer to Assassin's Creed Origins' biggest problems. Released as the 11th major installment in the series, Odyssey successfully transmitted this franchise from a stealth series to a role-playing series by polishing and advancing the systems that Origins set in motion. Assassin's Assassin's Creed Odyssey's story, like Assassin's Creed Syndicate, can be played with either a male or a female character and takes approximately 45 hours to complete. That being said, Odyssey is a host of the largest world in the series. Odyssey's massive world lets players spend upwards of 149 hours to complete everything the game has to offer. In terms of the main story content and extras, this effectively makes Assassin's Creed Odyssey one of the longest titles in the series. And finally, number one, I have ranked Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Valhalla is the 12th major installment of the series and the first in the franchise to receive 6 separate DLCs to continue the story. While Valhalla's initial critical reception was very positive, the game's massive size gradually grew to be overwhelming to many players, resulting in a completion rate of lower than 20%. Valhalla has the longest story in the entire Assassin's Creed series, clocking it at around 61 hours for most players. On the top of that, Valhalla has more collectibles than any other games, resulting in a full completion time of about 148 hours, just under that of Odyssey. And that's it guys, these are all the mainline Assassin's Creed games from shortest to longest in terms of play hours. Do tell me in the comment section how many hours did you take to complete each and every of the Assassin's Creed games or how many have you played in the list. And also subscribe this channel for more gaming content and I will see you in the next one.